Hey guys, Amber here with a Meeple Family, and today I'm going to be playing through Overboss solo. I'm also going to be doing level one of this solo mode campaign. Now, I personally, I think I am on level four, but I wanted to go ahead and just do level one so I didn't give anything away um, from future levels. That way you could get an idea of how this campaign works and see if it's a good fit for you, if you wanna try it, or if you wanna pick up this game and add it to your collection. So Overboss comes with, I think, 12 different terrain tiles. In this game that we're playing for level one, we'll be playing with the forest, swamp, caves, graveyards, camps, and dungeons, so that's six of the 12. We're also going to have Kazana, who is going to be our special boss. So what these bosses do is they basically allow you a special ability during the game, as well as a special like bonus way of scoring points for the game. So for Kazana, I can discard and then restock all the terrain tiles in the market. So these are the terrain tiles, the big ones and these tokens would not get replaced. I also score plus three for each separate group of exactly three tiles of the same terrain type. So this boss actually is picked out very well for the objectives I have, which are to get three plus forest tiles, and one of them needs to have a matching token. I also need to build three plus swamp tiles worth nine plus points, and score an overall total of 50 plus points. So th those are my three objectives. I think we can do it. Let's get started. So playing for like the AI for this game is super simple. I will go first and the AI will just take the rightmost set and that will be cleared off the board. That is how we will continue to move the terrain and token tiles through. So I think what I'm going to do first is go ahead and take this graveyard token. Um, this one is worth three points, you can see here, and then it's also got a little boss monster on it and that will be worth two points. So I will go ahead and clear this one off. And we'll move these down. And it's just kind of like a, a moving conveyor belt. Okay, ooh, I've got some water. So the way that water scores is if it is by, um, well, first of all, each one is worth one point. Okay, so it's worth one. If it's by another water, it's worth another point. And if it's by this outer edge of water, it's worth another point. So in total, it can be worth a max of three, depending on where it's located and if there's another water next to it. So I think just to be safe, um, I'm gonna actually take this other graveyard, mostly because it has a water token on it. And then this will go, and we'll move these down, and we'll refill. Okay, we have a cave and another cave. So cave scores similarly to water. Um, they are worth one point and they're worth two additional points if they touch the border of the cave area on the map. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do for sure is take our water tile. This will get discarded and you guys can see this game moves so fast. Uh, so like I was saying, there is a little bit of setup and teardown with this game that can be a disadvantage to some people, but I really don't mind it. I really enjoy the game overall, and I think it's fun to get out. I like tactile games like this, so I really, it doesn't bother me at all. But let's move on. I am going to discard and then restock all the terrain tiles because these, as much as I love caves, they're just not really going to do a whole lot for me. Um, I need forest and I also need um, water. So this is looking much better. Oh boy. I don't want to lose all of these though. Okay. So we have a dungeon. Okay. I, oh my goodness. What am I going to do? I definitely need to get a forest. Yes. I'm going to do this one and I'm going to put him here. Nope, I'm gonna put him here. Okay, and then this one will go. And we'll just move right along. Refill our area here. Okay, we have a cave and another tree, that's great. So one of my objectives was that I actually needed to get 
three trees and at least one of them needs a matching small tile. Well, I'm gonna lose this one because I'm definitely gonna grab this water. So now both of these are worth three points. So I'm gonna need another one worth three in order to score that objective. And the reason they're worth three is because they're adjacent to each other and they are against the water here. Okay, there's another tree. Now I know I'm not going over like every single tile on here because I don't want this video to get too long, but I will say the directions come with this amazing uh, printout and it's really thick and sturdy, which I appreciate. Um, and you can see on here what everything does and how it adds up. And it may seem overwhelming at first, but once you actually get your hands on the game and start manipulating all the tiles, it's so easy and it's just, it's really, really fun. All the versatility and variety that you have. Okay, well, I think what I'm gonna do is, the trees don't necessarily need to be by each other, but because these are the same uh, mini tokens here that match. I will get bonus points if they're in a line like this. So I'm going to keep that going. We're going to lose this guy and these are going to get moved down. So I'm really, really focused on water and I'm really focused on forest. Let's see. We'll go ahead and do our mini tokens. I'm kind of hoping that I get a portal and I will show you what that is if I can get my hands on one. Oh, geez. Well, I'm going to have to grab this tree or forest, sorry. Um, again, these don't have to be by each other, but yeah, I think I'm gonna put him right here. Okay, so we'll lose this one. And again, you guys, this, this moves so quickly, and I love that about these tile laying games. Uh, especially the solo play, it's just really easy and fluid and quick. Uh, I'm finding I'm having a hard time. I'm not a great YouTuber yet. I Talking and thinking is, uh, not one of my strong suits apparently. What am I gonna do here? So for, I gotta check my objective one more time here. So my forest is the one that needs a match. Um, and right now I do have the ability, if I can get a portal, I can switch those. My other perk is that if I get exactly three of a tile train, I get an additional three points. So I think what I'm gonna do is get this one because that's gonna give me three here. Yes, I like that. So then we'll get rid of this because it's the furthest over. And I'm already at three forest, which is technically all I need, but I really need a matching, oh, graveyards. Goodness, graveyards. I feel like I'm good on my graveyards. One and two. Okay, this is the portal. Okay, so I am going to... So when you get one of these portals, basically it doesn't go on your train tile. So I'm gonna put this over here. And it will just go down here in what is called your layer. And anytime during your turn, which I'll go ahead and just do it now, I can flip this over and I can actually trade any two of these small tokens. So I really need, I'm gonna keep this one because this is gonna give me points, but I need one of these trees to have a matching token. So I'm gonna switch these two, and then this one will allow me to complete that objective, and this guy has is matched. So one objective complete. So then we'll get rid of this, and I still need some water, or some swamp, I guess it's swamp, but I'm not getting that. So you know, if I don't get it, I don't get it, and I will lose a life, but that's all right. I was gonna try to do exactly three of the graveyard, but that ship has sailed. Caves are great, but I've really monopolized like all of my borders. And I'm kind of saving this for water. <laughs> so I think I'm going to get this other graveyard with the mini monster on it who will give me two points. This will go. And guys, I've just got uh, two turns left. So thanks for hanging in there with me. Man, I really, really need a swamp. Yes. There it is. Okay, we'll do our two tiles. Okay, this is one I haven't shown yet. This is a crystal. So every terrain tile has a matching crystal. And this is just another way to score points. You would put this down in your layer. And at the end of the game, however many of this terrain tile you have, it just counts as one point each. 
for whatever crystal, matching crystal you have. Well, I have to get that water. That's like 100%. Getting the water. And uh, actually, I can move this down here because this one didn't have a train tile, so I had the option to put it here or here. Well, I might as well have it match. Matching terrain tiles do give you an extra point at the end. So this is definitely like a point salad game. Oh my goodness, yes. So I will be, oops, too many. Okay, so this is my last turn. So I'm just gonna take this one with my matching tile here. And that is Overboss. All right, guys, so all we need to do now is score. So what I like to do is just go terrain by terrain. So for forest, I have three forest, and that will give me a total of six points. Next is our swamp area. I've got four swamps, and that's gonna give me a max total of 12. I have no caves, but for graveyards, I do have a total of five. When you have collected at least four or more graveyards for the solo variant, you do get a bonus five points. So when I add up all of my graveyards, that will give me 14. Now I don't have any of the camps, or dungeons. So my total tile score will be 32. Now I do have two of these mini bosses, so that's gonna give me a total of four points. I have no crystals, and I do have two matching monsters here and here. I have two bands, which is here with the graveyard tokens, as well as the water tokens here. That is also a total of four. So my token score is 10. So for my boss, it was score plus three for each separate group of exactly three tiles of the same terrain. I actually only did that with my forest, so I just got three points for that. That gives me a grand total of 45 points. So if we were playing the solo campaign, I would have completed the dark forest, build a group of three plus forest tiles, and at least one having a matching token, I did that and build three plus swamp tiles worth a total of nine plus points, and I did that. Unfortunately, I scored 45 points, so I wouldn't have uh, completed the scheme three, which was score 50 plus points. But I hope that gave you a great overview of how Overboss works. I really enjoy this game. I think it is so much fun. There's so much variety. And this solo campaign mode they have made is really fun. It makes me feel like I'm playing a video game. This is such a great game. If you own it and you've played the solo mode, please let me know in the comments. Let me know what other tile lane games you enjoy to play solo. This is such a great one. It can play up to five people, which is kind of unique for the tile lane games. I think Cascadia also also plays five. I know Calico is four, um, but we just really enjoy these as a family. And I love when there is this solo uh, variant that goes along with it. I just feel like I get so much more bang for my buck when that happens. But I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes.